All right, so there's some kind of enemy in the sewers. <coughs> what? What the? Looks like we triggered some kind of booby trap. Didn't you? Don't you know anything about Kusan at all? These sewers are infested with Sahagan tribes. They have traps like this set up all over the place. How are we supposed to tell where they are? Obviously, they don't want us snooping around here. All right, we'll keep an eye out and be careful not to set them off. Let's keep moving. These rocks? You're telling me that's a trap? And I can't really avoid them either. That sucks. No random encounters? None? I guess it's the- Oh, there they are. There's the Sahagan. Okay, what should I do? Hmm. Sewer Worm. I think I probably already have its skill, but let's try some of the others. Nope. Whoops, I killed that guy a little too quickly. Who knows if he even had a skill. Ah, bleed. Evaded? Seriously? Well, 4,000? Yeah, critical hits are way too OP in this game. Double damage is one thing, but this seems to do like triple damage. Like in Fire Emblem. Disease Breath, I don't imagine, will be too useful here. Since this seems to be a uh, uh, Since this, this seems to be a pellet swap of that- the enemy that actually has the Disease Breath. Fish Oil. Fish Portion, Plague Two. Huh? Oh, I see. It's- it, it's a healing item. That could be good outside of battle, but not so much inside. Oil. Decreases defense and boosts threat. Huh. You think that fish oil would be healthier than that? Hmm, plate to increase total uh, uh, hit, hit uh, max hit points, but that probably won't work on bosses. It'd be really nice if it would. Yeah, this thing, can, this jellyfish apparently has binding cantrip, which makes me really scared. I should probably kill it immediately before anything else. Yeah. You ain't using that binding cantrip shit on me, man. I'll, I'll be the one using it. Seriously, where are you weak to again? I don't know because it's been dodging most of my elemental attacks. And why are you the slowest one in the party all of a sudden? Okay, it's not weak to lightning. Neutral instead. Alright, let's not level up too much since I still have two party members that are kind of being held hostage. Gotta avoid these white rocks on the ground. Uh, I cannot grab this like in the other game where you could grab it to make bridges. Oh no. It's Hoggins Trident, which is just a normal sellable. I don't think you can equip it. They say it's too small for a normal human. Hmm, a keyhole? There's no keyhole, so we need a lever.
That one. Okay, let's try going back. It could be a different gate for all I know. Oops. Hmm, but was there something else down there? That's a question. Hmm. Nope! It turns out it's just another door. A rusted keyhole adorns one of the uh, sides. Alright, which direction? Okay, not this direction. The other one. Oh! If only we could walk on this piece of wood. What the? It's a Sahagin! Uh, we'll probably have to fight it the moment we cross the bridge. Uh... No, not you, Sahagins. I'm talking to the one that's a symbol encounter. There we go! Wait, it's a... Sahagin Chief! Hmm, should I fight this on a herd difficulty? Oh yeah, these guys hurt on the on the neck on the highest difficulty. That's for sure. And of course, ball time cannot. Oh, it managed to kill one. Good. Two of them. Okay, one more to go. Disease breath. Ooh, nice. Swing has a decent amount of hit points, but not good enough. Shock Bolt. Oh no, they crazed my mage. Sure shot. Yes, even... Uh, yeah, I'm just not going to be able to hit anything in this game ever. Serpentine Rush! Oh no, it's swaggering again! Okay, there's, there we go. Seriously, we're for the RNG in this game. I bet these battles could, uh, would end a few turns faster, huh? Electric blade, a sword, but I'm not really interested in swords right now. Deals thunder damage and it's a light blade, but right now he's con is better off with his lightning pole. I may also want to try to switch him out to combat manual so he can attack twice. Instead just have someone else use the violet cape, like Felix. Static Generator, Healing Crystal. Hmm. Okay, one of these had a key, right? I'm guessing it's not the one down here. Yeah, this one's a lever, and there's a lever on the other side. Gah, these traps. They're All right. Open that. Epic song. Wait, what does epic song do? Increases total hit points. And total SP. Well, I might as well make her my soul bard. Bard seems to work pretty well with ranger due to its stupidly high SP growth. Unfortunately, both are incredibly rare, so hopefully Ophelia doesn't die horribly in the story. Which she probably will. I can't tell where the boss is. Hmm. 
wow, that's not very inviting looking. There's a, is that chest trapped somehow? I see it. Oh, Arctic Talisman. I should not. I should not have bought that fourth one. Shoot. I didn't know it was going to be there. I don't know why it wasn't mentioned in the guide. You think something like that would be the most important thing to mention, considering all the water elementals here? A sign up ahead. Wait, I have to cross this trap no matter what? Damn. A gate has opened somewhere. Sluice control head. P please withdraw bridge when not in use. Authorized personnel only pass this point. Okay, now I have to get to the other side and get that switch. And cross this trap again because it's so unavoidable for some reason. Sound of the drawbridge lowering. Alright, I think we're almost there. Okay, I had to go for that trap again. Ha! And down here should be a boss battle. Okay, I'm pretty sure once I go for that narrow- Ow! Damn it, I should have watched my step. So once I go for that narrow passage, I'll, I'll fight something, right? Okay, so better think about my setup a bit. It's probably going to be a water elemental. Alright. Oh, we don't have a cho- Oh, there. Good. Good. Ah, oh, good. I also we have no choice but to step on a trap after all. Okay, I'm sure the boss will be right across this bridge, or maybe even on the bridge. You never know. The battle on the big bridge is a thing. Hmm. That was stupid of me. Ah! Okay. Okay, that's definitely a boss room. It looks way too big. We're here. This is the deepest part of the sewer system. The monster that's causing all the flesh should be right here in this pool. Oh, look. Here it comes now. Wow, this thing's huge. But I've got anti-water, so I should be, able to be fine. It's called a rune shell. Usually they are peaceful creatures, but this one's been driven mad by the eternal gate. So the Hoggins worship it as their god, which explains why they've been more hostile than usual lately as well. Most of Entobon's warriors would see the prospect of fighting this thing as a great test of courage, so let's get out on to business. Remember though, I'm watching you. If you can't hold your own in this fight, you won't be worth anything against the Eternal Gates. Not that I care either way. Enough talking. Let's hurry up and kill this thing. We'll show you just what we can do. Oh shoot, I forgot to give Rogue text to Felix. Be right back. Okay, first order of business. Disease breath. Good, that's that's good. Very good, yes. Shell plating. Nothing left to steal. Okay. Hmm. Obstructing seal, please. Okay, now you have nothing left to steal. I'm just gonna go and see if I can enrapture you. Stone Edge, a defensive technique. Take aim. Enrapture, I'll seal your buff. Shock Bolt will most likely be your weakness. Gunner. Crit Shot. Bard. 
War song. Increases one ally's attack and defense. Uh, huh. Okay. Eldritch Gun. Disease Breath again. Alright, we didn't blind it. This could be bad. Ooh, nice crit. Dodge, please. Oof. Okay. Bard War Song. Ah. Oh no! Oh, that was close. Oh man. Sure shot. I need to use disease breath. I can only get Toxify on him. Shoot. Oh no, we're dead. Oh. Dicks. Where's my solution? Healing light. Uh, he's still poisoned. We just need to hold out for a bit longer and we can win. Blind. Nope. Are, are I stolen everything of value on you, so go ahead and fall. Serpentine Rush. Oh, finally we've got blind. Title generator obtained. So what was that? Was that good enough for you? Have we passed the test? Your talent in combat is quite impressive. That much I will admit. You will be quite a helpful asset to my king. Don't think this changes anything between us, though. As far as I'm concerned, we'd be better off teaming up with whoever opened the eternal gates in the first place than a scum like you. Heh, well, feelings like mutual then. Will things down here be normalized now that the rune shell is dead? Won't the Sahagans just be angry that we've killed their god? They won't be too happy with us, but they'll stop venturing on out into the streets. Without the rune shell to serve, they have no reason to hunt for human offerings. Of course, it won't take long until a new rune shell finds its way down here, but as long as it remains peaceful, the Sahagans won't be pushed to try and calm out with sacrifices. That, however, is beyond your concern. The king should be finished par parlaying with your comrades by now. Let's not keep him waiting. There are more things, important things to do. Hmm. Yeah, well, probably didn't even need that extra level. I'm sure glad the boss kept missing with- uh, I managed to proc so much with the first disease breath. Oh, what's this? 
These levers control a slew of skates that regulate the city's water supply. If you mess around with them, there will be trouble. And we have to walk out of here, don't we? It's hoping there'll be some treasure behind the boss, but I guess not. I hope you didn't leave anything down there because I'm locking it up tight again. Oh shoot, good thing I, uh, I'm always so diligent about checking all those chests, huh? Now let's go to the palace. Don't try anything funny because I saw my eye on you. Yeah. Right, as usual, don't bother doing that quest with the with the bandit leader. I st for, for, Fortunately, I have a, a, another save where I did not interact with the bandit dude at all. If I'm ever going to free him, it's going to be after I get the rewards from the Hobgoblin quest. And even then, I feel kind of bad about it. I'm not even sure it's even necessary for the true ending. The true ending seems to be specifically based on a, 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 based on certain key items that you get. Kind of like with True Castoff and the Rift Manifest from the previous game. You don't have to do every side quest, but you have to do most of them. Your greatness, we have returned from our quest. The troubles in the sewer have been resolved. Ah, oh, wonderful. You have all done well, as of course I knew you would. Very well then, Trevelyans. I shall call for your companions. Time is running out and it is crucial you know your course of action. I'm going to have to rearrange my entire party. Everybody is present and accounted for. Very well, let us begin. Please let us listen carefully. My liege, with all due respect, would, would it be prudent if I take my leave now? I've done my part and the mission of these Trevelyans is no concern of mine. I'm sorry, Khan, but I wish for you to remain here. Your mission and yours are one and the same. I thought I said already that I wish for you to accompany them. You're my proxy, to guide them when I cannot. But your greatness, you did not mention. That is, I thought I was required only for the incursion to the sewers. How can you expect me to? Hush, Khan, I am ordering you to put aside your, di your differences aside for the time being. If they are to save us from the eternal gates, then they require your help. Only an Entobian could hope to travel through our lands and survive. As my lo most loyal subject and as a friend, there is nobody else whom I would rather entrust with a task of such importance. Travel through our lands? But then, that can only mean... I believe that our scholars have divined the location of one of the Eternal Gates. Trevelyans, have you ever heard of Mount Gurgen? That is the volcano in the mountain range to the north of here, isn't it? I have read that it hasn't erupted in centuries. Still, it is a foreboding place. You're correct. Mount Gurgen is a great volcano in the northernmost tip of Entoban. It has been dormant for nearly 500 years, though it suddenly burst into activity a few months ago. This, of course, coincided with increasing reports of monster attacks in the area. Recently, one of my mages returned from Payap Village, a town a short distance from the volcano, and reported that he detected a large concentration of dark energy emanating from the mountains. These are all the same signs that led to the eternal gate underneath the city, and the wooden iron rim as well. There is seemingly no doubt that a gate can be found there. Well, it's the only lead we have. With your permission, I think we should leave immediately. Yes, of course. There's no need for us to speak at length when you already know what to do. First, your objective is simple. Journey to Mount Gurgan, find the eternal gate within, and vanquish it. Lore Shard Obtained As promised, you are to be entrusted with our Shard of the Sword of Lore, which will give you the ability to close the gate. All you have to do is produce it in close proximity to the eternal gate. The shard will begin absorbing the gate's energy until it can manifest no longer. Beware though, while the shard does work, the process seems to take a while to complete. If our enemies know you are coming, you have to hold them off until the eternal gates have closed and vanished. If the shard's magic is interrupted, it may be impossible to attempt to vanquish the gate again. You must guard it with your life. Of course, it's so simple. I think I know something that may, may help. I must look over some text. When you're done he here, come and meet me in the library. That man's mind must be an incredible thing, though I don't know yet where I would regard that as a blessing or a curse. Anyway, as I already said, Mount Gurgen is on the northern edge of Entoban. To get there, you will need to journey through the Dondoran Waste. I hope you don't mind the hot desert sun. Is there going to be drop mechanics? Those were always pretty brutal. I remember in Annalisian, it was just freaking outrageous. Like, one of your party members would basically be com become completely useless under such conditions. Not fun. So it's, it was more irritating than fun to play, because at that point, your healer was basically dead weight. Everyone else was 
while they could uh, fight under the uh, desert sun, they were still incredibly weakened. Great, chance to get a suntan and fight monsters, all at the same time. This will be fun. If you need anything in the way of supplies or text, you'll be able to find it here in the city. If you make a stop at Pyat Village on the way, you'll also be able to get some new equipment. I hi I'd highly advise being prepared. Oh, and one last thing. Good luck. The lives of the people of Legion Weather are in your hands. Heh, <laughs> no pressure though, right? Wait, I wish to speak to you. What's the problem? I thought you couldn't stand in sight of us. I, I wish to make something clear between us if we are to be working together. Whatever happens on this quest, please do not mistake my agreement to help you as friendship. I'm coming with you because my king has ordered it, and that is the only reason. I do not care for your motives or your petty ambitions. I do not trust you, and I revile the mere notion that you are Legion Wood's heroes. Yeah, so what? If you have something to sell, there will be plenty of time later. You're responsible for the depths of Brennus and Bodica, my two closest friends. While we may be on the same team for now, I will not forget this fact. When this is all over, I want you to expect that I will attempt to avenge them. It is simple justice. Oh, who? You mean the head honchos in Corinthian and Iron Rim, right? Hmm, you should just be happy you don't have to smell their awful body odor anymore. How dare you! They were, they were honorable warriors. I remember this insult to their memory. What purpose will this grudge serve, Khan? You should remember that you aren't the only one who lost people they care about. If it wasn't for the invasion of Corinthian, then Clara wouldn't have... How do you feel about that, Khan? Your friend is responsible for the death of the woman I was to marry. What is justice now? Bah, your words are meaningless to me, Trevelyan dog. So what if this woman died? She was just a dog too. She would have been happy to watch my countrymen die. What will Lionel do? Back off. Because you're going to be my meat shield. You're not worth my time. Obviously you insist on only seeing one side of the story. Don't ever speak about Clara ever again to me. Next time, I won't hold back. We gotta be consistent with the no revenge thing, right? That means we can't, we can't even punch this guy either, even though he's a total asshole. Are you guys done messing around? We have to meet Marcus in the library and get going. Better not keep everyone waiting. Okay, so... Aelia has rejoined, but she is... She did not level up with everyone. That's why I only leveled them up once. Because otherwise, it would, the gap would just be too big. And I'm gonna have to... I think I'm gonna have to swap around my team a bit. Alright, this will be my party for now. Until Felix leaves permanently at some point, because I'm on the good path. Find anything interesting? Indeed, I figured out what to do at the Mount Gurgan. Let's get going. I'll reveal it when the time is right. Why don't you reveal it now? Well, with that, I guess we can finally leave the city and get that hobgoblin stuff over with. And, of course, we're not going to bother doing the bandit quest until after the hobgoblin. And even then, we'd kind of feel bad about it. Alright. Honestly, I'd rather not use a warrior or barbarian class at all because it's just so slow and the accuracy is so bad that I feel like those two classes get screwed over the most. Physical, pure physical classes with no other gimmicks just get really screwed over, especially if they're slow, so slow they can't compensate for the hit rate. This game was just not very well balanced at all. Hmm. I may have to go back to a previous dungeon to grind uh, uh, to get some rune crafts here. Wouldn't mind having some extra violet capes, but those are really expensive. Take quite. A hmm. So there's supposed to be a village I can visit. How close is it? Do I have to cross another dungeon first or not? Can we get there by train? Obviously, there's nothing for me in uh, back there. Hmm. That 
Shriners d it won't do anything because I already got the Shaman class. Uh... How did I get over there? I know that looks like a village, but can I actually cross through here? There's the Dondoran Waste. I can't get over there yet. Curses. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Legion with 2, Rise of the Eternals Realm, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.